Good morning, everybody. Uh, just a quick update this week. After last week's uh, update from Boris Johnson with regards to the roadmap uh, out, um, we have a an end date when hopefully we can uh, we can start resuming our lives back to normal. And as much as we don't know what the restrictions on travel might be until the uh, further details are launched on the 12th of April, uh, we're hopeful again that uh, some form of travel will resume from the 17th of May. And as we go through the summer, more and more things will, will, will open up. We now know that the retail shops will be able to reopen on the 12th of April. Uh, of course, we're going to continue to be here for, for you, our customers, uh, all the way up until that date. So we will remain throughout March, uh, Monday to Friday, 10 o'clock until 4 p.m. Uh, every day. Every branch will have staff uh, working uh, on the telephones and on emails. And we're also increasing staffing levels a little bit just to give a bit more extra coverage because it is getting busier, to be honest. February has been um, really popular with customers booking up mainly for the end of this year and for next year. But definitely over the last few days after Boris's announcement, we have seen uh, uh, a bit of an upturn for summer 21. It's been a lot in the media about this huge 1000 percent up and and all these kind of comments with regards to airlines and operators saying how much demand has been out there since Tuesday. I would agree that there has been a definite significant change. But considering before last Monday, we were probably only doing one or two bookings a day, if not a week with regards to summer 21. We're suddenly doing five, 10 bookings um, a day with regards to summer. Uh, there are some great deals to be had. There's some great flexibility to be uh, to be seen as well. So if you are booking and it cannot go ahead as much as, you know, we know you don't want your holiday disappointed and to lose it. But the options are that you can change and you can also get a refund if the holiday operators cannot proceed with your holiday as as agreed. So we've been doing a lot of virtual events over the last few weeks as well. And these have been really popular. We've been having 100, 150 customers attend some of these. Uh, and we're trying to get some inspiration, but also that that real key information with regards to tour operators plans um, when they resume, whether it's cruise or whether it's land. We hope you've been able to enjoy some of these and we will keep doing these over the next few months. And even when we reopen the stores on the 12th of April, we're not looking to finish these. Uh, I think they're going to be a crucial part of our business and hopefully crucial for you just to learn about more products and what you might want to do once you can travel safely again. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, so it'd be great to see uh, more of you back into the branches on the 12th of April. I will, of course, update you before we get to that stage with what that'll mean. We will keep social distancing measures. We will have a um, managed entry system. So the doors will be open. But what we'll be looking to do is make sure that we limit how many customers are in there to keep us and you safe. And that's the most important thing. But it will be fantastic to see some faces uh, back into our shops as quickly as we can. Hope you're all keeping well. As always, please give us a ring if you're thinking about holidays, if you're if you're thinking about what plans you might do. If you're ready to book, please give us a ring. But if you're not ready to book, again, please ring. We can go through what you might be looking to do once you are ready to, to, to commit. As always, keep well, keep safe, and we look forward to uh, keeping in contact with you right up until we can open those stores again. See you all soon. Bye-bye.